Hey everybody, this is Jonathan with Georgia Chrysler here in Statesboro, Georgia. I'm making this video as the second video in this Ram series I'm doing. Uh, for those of you that saw my first video, it was a standard cab 2017 two-wheel drive Ram Tradesman with a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Uh, the second Ram I'm doing here for this video is a 2017, it's a quad cab, it still has a 3.6 liter Pentastar in it. Uh, this one's actually a bighorn, so it's a little higher trim level and a bigger cab. It's still two wheel drive, uh, but I'm moving on to higher trim levels as I go. I'm starting at the bottom and moving up. So here we go on the 2017 Ram Bighorn quad cab. Alright, starting out under the hood. This Ram has a similar setup and drivetrain as the last one. It has the same engine. This one's also two-wheel drive. Uh, this particular Ram and all the Rams uh, come available with seven, uh, several engines, including a 5.7 liter Hemi V8, which is a very common engine for this trim. This one has the V6, like I was saying in the last video. The V6 in large part will do what most people need in a truck. Uh, this truck's a little higher trim level. You can see right here, it's got 20-inch chrome wheels. You got your chrome trim around the, the door handles and everything. Moving on to the inside, you got an 8.4 inch uh, media heads up display. You still got your Bluetooth, your um, audio controls, your cruise control on the steering wheel. Um, you got dual climate control in this one and some other features. Moving around the vehicle, you'll look, the chrome accents continue towards the back. You've got a chrome bumper on this one. You've also got your chrome bighorn emblem. Unlike the standard cab I showed you a little while ago, you do have a sliding glass back window here. I really like that in a pickup truck. Uh, this one comes with a with a spray-in bed liner already installed. I'm sorry, that's actually an insert bed liner after I look at it. Moving around towards this side. See, this one has chrome step rails and stuff on it. Um, it's a little bit better trim level than the last one. This one has a lot of options and stuff to it. All right, I just wanted to give you guys a little better view of the interior of the dash and everything there. This one's about out of gas. Here's your heads-up display. It's got um, Uconnect apps. This Uconnect heads-up display is the best one in the industry. I really like this. It comes in a lot of our uh, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeeps, and Rams. It's got apps. It's got your climate control. Um, you can operate all your media through here. Um, you got a lot of media options. You got a 12 volt port down here. Moving into your center console. One neat thing I like about all the Rams, and this was in the Tradesman too that I did last time, I didn't show it, is this coin holder here. And then oh, right here, you've got a USB port. Um, you've got another 12 volt port and an auxiliary port. It's really nice to have. Also, 115 volt right there in the dash. That's one of the great things too about a Ram. Just like last Ram we looked at, you've got a deep center console here. Now, unlike the standard cap, this one doesn't fold up and give you a middle front seat. All right, moving on to the back seat of the Ram. This is a quad cab, not a crew cab. So the crew cabs are significantly larger than this. Um, this is more equivalent to what Chevrolet and Ford call an extended cab. Uh, one of the neat things... Here we go. And these back seats are actually 60-40 split folding. So the second seat on the passenger side is actually larger and it folds out to take a larger space. Um, you still have your little foot rest right there for small kids. You can fold in and out. 